Hey, Doc Testa here with Pine Pollen Superfoods and Train for Longevity. Today I want to talk about testosterone. Is it better to take testosterone or aromatase inhibitors? And so let's talk about testosterone here for a minute. So it declines generally in men over 50 years old, and there's a huge range between 300 and 1,000 nanograms per deciliter of, uh, the, I mean, so the range is humongous. And so your symptoms may be more of an indicator of low testosterone than just the numbers. It could be moodiness. It could be loss of muscle mass. It could be um, uh, elevated cholesterol. It could be a decreased libido. There's a lot of different symptoms. It could be fatigue. There's a lot of different symptoms that could be happening from a low testosterone level. And let's talk about that because a lot of men take testosterone. Now, what I, I'm, I'm reading some studies here. 25% of the men who take testosterone in this recent study in the Journal of the AMA never had their levels measured. So I think it's important to get me levels measured because too much testosterone can cause side effects, which we'll talk about here in a minute. But um, let's take a look at that. So also, low testosterone is an indicator of other problems, and it could be you have low testosterone from alcohol intake. Too much alcohol is certainly an issue uh, for testosterone levels. Um, belly fat, because fat creates um, an enzyme called aromatase that converts testosterone into estradiol, an estrogen hormone. And so that can cause a lopsided, too much estrogen, not enough testosterone because your body's actually producing it. So um, it's important to get these things measured. Now, let's, let's look at a couple things. In this study with testosterone, um, there are a couple things that it can uh, um, uh, affect. So testosterone therapy did improve sexual function in uh and quality of life in older men now i don't know what that number what that is older men 50 55 60 um it, it's not really defined here um but it had little to no effect on physical functioning so or depressive symptoms or energy or vitality or cognition so um taking it for those in this study showed no benefit it also maybe increases the risk for cardiovascular events in the body. So, um, and there's still some concern about prostate cancer with testosterone. So what can you do about this? So I don't know that personally I would be using testosterone, but the flip side of this study was that showing excreting aromatase out of the body so it didn't convert fat into estrogen or too much testosterone into estrogen was actually more effective than taking testosterone. So rather than taking testosterone, there are foods and supplements and things that you can use to help excrete the aromatase out of the body. And that's <clears throat> what I want to talk about next. There are some aromatase inhibitor foods and supplements, such as dietary fiber. Number two, lignans found in flax seeds, um, grape seed extract, or resveratrol. And resveratrol has been found to be very beneficial for uh, uh, healthy longevity and really working with the sirtuin genes, which help sort of maintain and repair our DNA. White button mushrooms. And mushrooms really in general. I, I, I would prefer to use uh, shiitake, mataki, um, reishi, uh, I personally take a lion's mane and turkey tail, so mushrooms can be very helpful. Green tea, the catechins found in green tea. Stinging nettle root, you can get these things in supplement format. Other supplements like quercetin, which you can find in onions and apples and many, many fruits and vegetables. Vitamin C and zinc. So rather than taking testosterone, which in this study didn't really seem to make a huge difference in people's lives, it's almost better to take the 
um, aromatase inhibitors and the ones that get that uh, aromatase out of the body so that you don't convert testosterone that's already naturally occurring into estradiol. Another thing I would add to this would be uh, the cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, garlic, and another supplement called DIM or diindolmethane, which also helps excrete um, excess estrogen that the body can make. Again, if you're overweight, that's happening in your body, or if you're drinking excess alcohol. So rather than taking testosterone, try these foods, try these supplements that can um, uh, inhibit aromatase production, and then dim and cruciferous vegetables that can excrete estrogens out of the body. That might be a better long-term play for you. So I hope that's helpful. Please share this with your friends, your colleagues, your peers. They're going to thank you for it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel below because I got another really good video coming your way. We'll see you in the next video.